and welcome to another video brought to you by the Spiritual Alchemist and the Healing Priestess products. On today's video, we're going to talk about the bracelet, the Nganga bracelet. Is it real or is it fake? Is it something made up? More after this quick video. So many of you have been asking us about our product and our spiritual page, where you can find our spiritual page. So I'm going to go ahead and share this one with you right here. So if you go to www.thespiritualalchemist.com, you'll come to this page right here. And here's where you're going to find our products from candles to lotions to perfumes, cologne, um, spiritual readings, and much more. We also have bundles, gifts, um, basically anything. Well, not everything. <laughs> well, a lot of material, a lot of different spiritual product that we have available. And we also do have custom made. So if you're interested, just go ahead and click on that little chat box that appears there on our website and we'll get back to you. Now. Let's go and talk about our topic today. So now let's talk about the topic of today, which today's topic is the bracelet. Do the Infumbes have bracelet? This type of bracelet right here. Is there such a thing as a Siete Rayos bracelet, a Sarabanda, Lucero, uh, and the other Impungos? Are they real? Well, first, I'm going to start by saying, if you practice synchronized palo or cross palo, for you, it could be real. Now, this was a question that was asked to me. Do I believe in it? So I'm entitled to give you guys my opinion. And for me, is I do not believe in it. Because I do not believe in it because it doesn't exist in our tradition. And I'm not talking about everyone's tradition. What I mean is it doesn't exist in our moon and soul. It does not exist in our lineage. But don't take this from me. Because if your lineage does use them, then... Listen to what your godfather says. Now, what does exist for me is Amakuto. It's a bracelet that we prepare on top of the Nganga. We put the Bilongo, the protection, the medicine, and the bracelet. And then we charge it on top of the pot. Now, I think that's where the big misunderstanding occurs. When people say, I'm going to give you a bracelet that belongs to Siete Rayos. What they should be saying is, I'm going to give you a bracelet and charge it on top of Siete Rayos or charge it on top of Cuba Allende. It has been charged on, on top of an Nganga. But I don't believe that the Mpungos themselves have colors that represent them. This is something that has I have not seen. Um, it's something new that has come up. But then again, I'm not judging um, people's moon and soul, people's lineage. If you guys do that, the best person to ask is your godparents, your godfather, your godmother, if it's real. But it's a difference between this and a makuto. A bracelet 
that has been charged, that has been fed, that has been packed by different um, herbs, dirts, uh, and coonies, it is way different. I could get, make one of those bracelets and give it to you to protect you, but in no way and in no time I'm going to claim that that's a Siete Rayos, a Cubayende, Sente and Doki's bracelet. There's a big difference, and I think that we should learn how to use our words um, more proper and when we are speaking to the clients, because the clients are the ones that come and do chisme or gossip, or they start to give me this bracelet, and he said that that belongs to Saravanda. And I'm like, well, Saravanda doesn't have any bracelets. But I'm not no one uh, to say that. And I also don't claim to know everything. Because we also have to remember, and I also have to remember, that every moon and soul has their own tratados, their own secrets, their own way. So if they give a bracelet and that they claim that that belongs to Siete Rayos and Sassi, then hey, that's them, right? But in my opinion, it doesn't exist. In my opinion, if we go back to uh, before colonization, before Africa, this plastic beads did not accept, they're not, this black plastic beads do not exist. Now, if you have bones and if you have little bones that were shaped and carved and even sticks that were shaped and carved, it's probably different. But would that belong to the Enkisi? I think the words are what confuses the people that we work with. And again, if we go back all the way to Kunayanda or Africa, you don't see this kind of things. Well, not today, you might, because now they have the um, technology to make this uh, plastic bead. But if you tell me that the slaves came from Africa wearing this type of beads, I think it's insanity. <laughs> But that's my opinion. Okay, I'm not. I'm not here to put anybody down. I'm not here to to judge anybody. I'm just giving you guys my opinion, my personal opinion, and I never claim to know everything. Um, Amun and So could have a different tratados, and I think we forget that. You know, that's something that we should all uh, remember: that every spiritual house, every Moon and So. They have their own ways of doing their own secrets. That's what makes them so special. There's no a universal way. But again, like I said, this is my opinion. Uh, I don't believe in them. Uh, what I believe is in a makuto that we grab like a shell. We put a string on it. We make a bracelet. We pack it with herbs. We pack it with dirt. Uh, in toto, we pack it with bones uh, or whatever it is that we pack it with it. And then we put it on top of the Nganga, we charge it, and then you come, and then we put it around your hands, right? But never do I claim and say, this is a bracelet that represents this in Pungo. This is a bracelet that belongs to this in Pungo, because this is not Ocha. Okay? This is Palo. It's a, it's a big difference. Um, and like I said, unless you, you are practicing synchronized Palo, then that's fine, okay? But in Mayombe and Palo Monte, Briumba, uh, this has never been heard of, in my opinion, right? Well, I hope I have answered uh, this question. And once again, please uh, do not forget uh, to go to the web page, check out our products. And if you do use the promo code TATA, you will receive uh, free shipping. So, Please go ahead and visit. Here we go. I'm going to put the page up again. Uh, there's the promo code down at the bottom. Uh, we run that for 24 hours. So uh, use that promo code to get free shipping. Now, we're going to touch on more subject as time goes by. Um, I am testing this new um, 
way of uh, recording um, to see how it's going, how it works. Because I want to bring pictures. I want to give you guys samples of things, examples of things. I want to give you guys example of things of what I'm talking about. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and put that terminology for the subject or the topic that we're talking about. And like I said, guys, I, I don't claim to know everything. And I respect every practitioner out there, the way they do things. Um, it's their secret. That's what makes them unique. That's what makes them different. There's no universal way of doing things. Um, everyone has their secrets. And sometimes we tend to forget that. And I also tend to forget that. Because we are very busy trying to say that our lineage, our moon and soul, our spiritual house is way better uh, than the other. There's always this competition against each other. And I think that that's getting very old. Instead of working together, instead of coming together um, and sharing a little bit of this knowledge. Now, I'm not saying, hey, guys, get out there and start talking about secrets. I just say talk over the top because uh, secrets are meant to be for those that belong within your spiritual house. Those that have the right of way, those who have paid um, to become part of that house. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will be coming with more videos, more topics. Um, again, I'm testing this um, way of doing things. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And also, don't forget, be before I go, I know there's been people that have been asking about our spiritual readings and how they can get in contact with me. So right here on the website where it says uh, rituals, readings, and classes, right there, you can click on that and it'll take you straight to the website. Now, the one who is doing the readings most of the time, because I, I am busy, uh, I have a lot of things going on. I also have a job as my wife, but you know, I do recommend her. She is really good at what she does, not just, be, not just because she's my wife, but because she really knows what she's doing, okay? But if you do have any question, that little chat box right next to me, you can always click on that and ask your questions and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Well, anyways, I hope you really enjoyed this video and you have a blessing day.